I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Commander Cory Shepard once again explored the galaxy, righting all of the wrongs that she could find, including helping her friend Garrus take down the evil Dr. Salian, and her friend Rex reclaim his family armor. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition, right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres almost every single day around 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I sincerely appreciate you guys. You're the highlight of my day, and I love you very much. Thank you so much. We are, of course, playing this game on Insanity Difficulty, and uh, thanks for the comments. Uh, we're going to try to start opening every episode and closing every episode with a look at our squad screen so we can see what Shepard's rocking right now uh, for stats, levels, all that jazz. Paragon, Renegade, doesn't matter. Uh, so so hopefully, hopefully that works out, and thank you for that suggestion in the comments. In today's episode, we finally are heading to our first story world, second story world technically, because we went to... Th the point is, we're heading to Pharos, the colony of Pharos that apparently is under attack. Actually, in fact, if we look at our journal, it's been a long time, we can see that Pharos has a Geth attack. They've attacked the world of Pharos. Our primary objective is to go to Zeus Hope Colony to investigate what Saren is after and why he sent his Geth troops to that planet. So, let's get to it. Something I would like to point out is that if you do not have a maxed out charm or a pretty close to maxed out intimidate you might not want to go to pharos right away uh because there is a dialogue option that's pretty important and you can kind of only get a satisfying result from that if your charm or intimidate is high enough so anyways we are going to head to the attican beta cluster and the system of pharos we've already been to the hercules system and our many conquest i'm sorry the theseus system where pharos is located i'm an idiot and of course, just because we have some quests to do does not mean that there are not planets to scan. The planet of Sharing, we can go ahead and survey that and actually receive a Prothean data disk. Both have signs of former Prothean development, suggesting Sharing may have been mined for Helium-3. And if we scan the planet of Quana, we can get a light metal. Interestingly enough, this planet of Quana was a, was a well-developed Prothean mining infrastructure uh, abandoned mines are all over the place, and they were actually very intact, which led to looters taking everything they could from that Prothean ruin. Which leaves us with the only planet that we can land on, Pharos. Finally, we are getting to the story of this game. Pharos, the Exogeny Corporation, has founded a pilot colony on Pharos to explore the Prothean ruins that blanket two-thirds of the planet's landmass. The atmosphere is fouled from dust. Terrestrial travel is hampered by crumbled debris. There are indications that Pharos was a much colder world in the past. Interesting. So, let's head down. So far, so good. Doesn't appear to be any geth. So, it looks like we need to air head to the airlock and pick our squad. Which, heading out into Pharos, is going to be a party of Tali, Zora, Naraya, because we are going to be dealing with a ton of synthetic enemies. But we're also going to head there with Liara to Sony. Perfect! This squad has zero Equalizing combat. Interior pressure <laughs> with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Welcome to the colony of Zeus Hope, where things look a little bl Oh, there's somebody immediately waiting for us. Hello, David. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who? Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Look out! Oh no, David! Oh! David just got annihilated by Geth Troopers. That poor guy. We're going to go ahead and pop barrier here. See if we can run in and try taking these guys down just a little bit. Now, remember, unfortunately, we do not have anybody that's super capable of running in and dealing with them. But we'll go ahead and see what we can do here. I recommend putting all of your mods to deal with synthetics. This is going to be a Geth heavy area. There we go. We're taking one down. 
Let's see if we can run in and melee this Geth Trooper. He's dead already. Oh no, another. Look at how many enemies are uh, waiting for us as we get here. We're gonna throw a grenade out. We were able to hit a couple there. Geth Trooper down. There is a sniper in the back that we need to watch out for. What a greeting as soon as we arrive on the planet of Pharos. This is what I'm talking about. This is the good stuff here. Watch out for the Geth Snipers. Trooper down, trooper down, just a sniper left. And a shock trooper on this side, which we're gonna, oh, barrier. Oh, unfortunately we hit that to the face. Go ahead and pop a medi there for Liara and for ourselves. See if we can finish off with some warps here and some overloads. Shock trooper down. All that's left is a get sniper as it falls. Woo, what? A party! You'll see that our sensors are jammed immediately upon getting here. Real quick, we're gonna go ahead and equip Tally with the Savant 7, which is an incredibly good Omni tool, as you can see. See, shield bonus, tech cooldown bonus, it's super good. We're gonna go ahead and equip her with that. We also equipped our very own Commander Corey Shepard with the Savant 7 as well, which is going to be very good. All right, let's see how much damage we can do with our new upgraded pistol. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, you hate to see it. Some of the worst enemies in the game waiting for us, the Geth Stalkers. These guys just suck, man. Geth Sapper, Geth Stalker. We're gonna go ahead and use Barrier here just so that, you know, in case anything does happen, we'll be able to hopefully deal with it. One down already. We are, we're killing them. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can get a, wait and see if we can find it. And right behind us, see if we can get a Singularity on it. Perfect. And then we can just eliminate it. By punching it in the head. Looks like that was it in this hallway was just those couple. You're right, Tally. I think we did as well. Thank you. Looks like we can head this way. And the colony. Greta Reynolds. Hello. Glad to see some soldiers. Our numbers are getting thin. If we die of thirst, the Geth will surely kill us all. Well, this, I mean, they, they seem like they've had some issues here. Good thing we arrived. Apparently, we arrived just in time. We have Lydra here. I fear the Geth will kill us all. So, we're looking for the leader of this colony. The Geth can't be allowed into the heart of the colony. The Geth cannot be allowed into the heart of the colony, she said. Interesting. So, if we come up around the edge here, back this way, we can talk to Fade Anne. Hello, sir. Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got Geth in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! And even more Geth, and you can see from our map just how many there are. We're gonna go ahead and actually overload here as much as possible, and we're going to warp and hopefully even throw out a singularity just to get all of them there we go perfect one already down we're gonna finish off that geth shock trooper easy peasy see if we can take down this geth sniper two shots from our pistol now that we've upgraded it shields down we're going to go ahead and shield boost here make sure that we stay alive take out this geth sniper as much as we can watch out for any hits that it does we do not want that to hit us it is an instant kill if that goes off and of course, the shock troopers, we need to watch out for their little tiny grenades that they got as well. Three more enemies just waiting for us up here. We're going to go ahead and see what we can do. Going to go ahead and toss this one. Remember, we do have the power of stasis, so we're actually going to stasis the one in the back. And because we have the Bastion, we can actually still do damage to these while they're in stasis. We're going to go ahead and stasis this one as well. All right, now that we've killed that one, two more are sitting here waiting for us. We need to be super careful at this point because we have pretty challenging Geth waiting for us here. Unfortunately, they heard us approach. Do Geth have ears? One trooper down. 
Remember, the power of having Tally here is that she can snipe a lot of these out of the fight by AI hacking them. Another one down. We're going to go ahead and actually see if we can warp this. Sabotage it as well. One recon drone, drone down. Other one down. And Tally, it's all you, girl. Go ahead. And hopefully, we'll see if we can... Nope, she's not going to be able to. See if we can run in. We need to be super careful here. We're going to pop barrier. We're just running in close so that we can see if we can get an AI hack on this. Perfect. Another Geth Trooper in the back there. AI hacking incredibly strong on the planet of Pharos, at least for now. More dropping in. It looks like there's a drop ship above us. And a Geth Destroyer sitting there about to charge. Lucky for us, we have the power of throw. Get out of here, punk. Geth Destroyer down. All that remains is a Geth Trooper. That we were able to punch in the head. Now we can update Fidan and get a vehicle safely out of the Normandy. The Geth base is our next objective. What a journey. As soon as we get here, man, we just had to fight more Geth than we fought in this entire game. Okay, that's not true, but point is, that was fun. Anyways, we want to head all the way back down, back to the colony. And on our way back down, we're fought by yet more Geth sitting here waiting for us. The power of singularity on the Geth stalkers is not to be trifled with. Another Geth trooper. Able to knock him down with a good old fisticuff. Now, it is pretty easy to get turned around in here, and I did just go down the wrong staircase, which is why those Geth were there. So, we actually want to go down the stairway that uh, is... We can also... I just want to point out there's, there's an elevator here that we can ride to the Perthian Skyway, which is something that we'll be doing in a little bit. But first, we need to go to the first staircase, the closest one that you can. Down there, that's where the colony is. It's one staircase. If you're walking down a bunch of stairs, you went the wrong way. And now, we can talk to Faye Dan. The tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony's safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Hmm. Help me find what the Geth are after and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. Exogeny? Why there? It's Exogeny. It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. I'm a Spectre. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. Great. What does that mean? What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Marcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Okay, great. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. Now, of course, this seems like a pretty a pressing matter. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. If you can assist, please speak with him. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. So we need to deal with the Geth in the tunnels and all of their about Geth the issues that they're having before dealing Nothing with their new. base. They're in the tunnel somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. It's not a critical threat right now, but getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. Perfect. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. Tell me about the Geth base what before we head in there. What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. Oh, uh, we fought many of those, and tell me a little bit more about the colony. Tell me about your colony. 
Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. Interesting. How many people lived here? How big was the original Pharos colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site, 200 more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus Hope. You know, I could just evacuate you. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous, and I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. There's huh. a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. Okay. So what about Exogeny? What else can you tell me about Exogeny? Exogeny funded this colony. Without them, we wouldn't be stuck here. They specialize in colonization. In return for bankrolling the colony, we work for them. Their main goal is the retrieval of valuable artifacts or resources. Except there isn't anything here. Or if there is, we didn't find it. Well, that could be what the Geth are after. That's what the Geth are looking for. Exactly, Shepard. Perhaps. As she said, we never found anything of value. Of course, the Geth could know something we don't. Hmm. It seems like they do. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. So we get two Paragon and journal upgrades, uh, updates, and uh, some area map stuff. So we're going to go and see if we can find anybody to talk to about this power supply. Uh, we have a few people in here, it seems, that we could talk to. Also, we can open this extranet terminal for a codex entry in 95. XP, and then let's go ahead and talk to Hollis Blake here. You'll have to forgive my wife. Kalantha's not in her right mind. She just needs to relax and accept what's happened. Hmm. What happened to your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. Is there anything I can do for her? No, she just needs time. Time to absorb everything. We'll be fine. Interesting. What do you do for the colony? I'm a medic. Or I am since the doctor died. I've tried my best since she was killed. Oh, no. Okay, what about Pharos? Do you know anything about this planet? Just what I was told by Colonial Affairs. It's a little different from what they claimed. It, it's not all bad, though. When the Geth are gone, we'll have a chance to create something even more spectacular than before. Interesting. What about the colony? Tell me about the colony. I can't tell you much about that. You'd best ask Fidan if you really must know. Hmm. Why can't you tell me? I just want to know about the colony. Fidan is our leader. Who better to answer questions about the colony? Okay, makes sense. Do you have any idea what the Geth were looking for? Uh, I can't think of any reason for an attack like this. We just wanted to build a home. I have to go. All right. Interesting. Please Thanks for the information. Let's go ahead and talk to his wife. See Hello, what's going on here. I'm glad that we aren't totally forgotten by the rest of the galaxy. Dear, please try to rest. You're you're not ready to speak. But they should know. Uh Yes. That's better. I mean, they're What? Is there anything I can do for you? I'm fine. I just need to try to think clearly. It's just a lingering pain from from the last attack. I see no major injury, but something must be causing her pain. Please, just let her rest. She just needs rest. Okay, fine. Can I talk to her again? So okay. much when I think about what we've lost. Yeah, interesting. Also, the dialogue was really weird there, and it was like chopping out. That was, uh, that was strange. What about Davin Reynolds? Davin Reynolds? You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. I can get you food. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. Who is... what is a Varen? I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. Good point. Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. The big Alpha Varen is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. Tell me about yourself. Sounds like we Watch have to something tell. to deal with. I came here with my wife Greta, looking for adventure, a new life together. This isn't exactly what we signed up for. Of course, it would be much better without the Geth. 
We were really starting to enjoy the colony before they came. Really? Tell me about Zeus Hope. The colony is growing, or it was. But you should speak with Fidan. He is our leader. No, no, no. You tell me. Why should I speak with Fidan? Why can't you tell me? I don't want to talk about that right now. Speak with Fidan. Weird. I have to go. So long. We get a codex entry and a journal entry, and people are weird, dude. Now, we would be able to hack this. I believe this is one of the computers for a side quest, but we've actually already done that side quest because we received it elsewhere. So, let's see if we can fix anything else while we're here. May O'Connell. May O'Connell. How nice you doing? Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Will Normandy's would power cells work? Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. Your top-of-the-line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. Oh, I'll see what I can if do I then. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. Nice. I appreciate it. Looks like they're ready to fight where the... Okay. I'm sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. What's wrong? Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. I could fly it in. ship fueled and ready to go. I could bring water in. Unless you plan to make a trip every few days, that wouldn't really solve our problem. We need to be self-sufficient. I love that voice you actor, know where by to the find way. the problem with the water. The colony can't afford to lose any more of us. We're just too vulnerable. You're very focused on the water, despite the constant attacks. I, water's pretty important. I, I can't think of anything else. So much has happened. It, it hurts. What? If I stay focused on this task, the pain goes away. An understandable reaction. Though her discomfort seems almost palpable. Yeah, it does. Tell us about, the colony. about the colony. She's going to tell us to speak to Faye Dan. We are a small group, part of a larger colony, before the Geth attacked. You should speak to Faye Dan. It's his responsibility. Mm -hmm. He knows the colony best. I told you. What do you know about this planet? I am not the one to ask about that. Ask Faye Dan or one of the others. Okay. What about personal tell about, me about you? Yourself. I'd rather not. This is not the time or the place. Please, help us or don't. Otherwise, leave me to my work. All right. I have to go. S people are weird, man. I wish you luck. And we get another journal entry because we have a new assignment. Not the best shot, but I'll do what I can. All right. Good luck, Greta. So it's time for us to head into the tunnels and see if we can deal with any of the enemies here. Although there is a... A Solarian named Lydra Commander, here. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you, if you wish. Interesting. What's your name? What's your name, Solarian? My full name is Gorot II Heranon Maldinest Got Inost Ledra. Humans usually employ surname and given name only. Inost and Ledra, in my case. That's a really long name. Why is your name so long? We are named for our origins. Gorot II is my homeworld. Heranon, my clan's country, Maldinest, and Got are the city and district where I live. Okay. Makes sense. What's a Solarian doing on a human colony? This Solarian goes where the credits are. Or I did. A well-stocked freighter can be a profitable investment on a new colony. But once I was here, I decided to stay on. The colony life grows on you after a while. Interesting. Stock? How do you keep things in stock in conditions like this? My list of consumers has shrunk significantly since the attacks, and few of those have time for shopping. What can Weird. you tell me about Zoo's Hope? A fascinating place by all accounts, though the Geth have made it treacherous. You might like it here too if you gave it a chance, Commander. I never thought I'd stay in one place for long, but here? I will stay here. Why? This place is barely holding together. Why stay here? I can't give you an answer to that, Commander. At least not one that you would comprehend. Why not try asking Fi Dan? Maybe he can tell you what I can. So Let weird. Me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to provide a few interesting items. Now, we do want to buy some stuff from him, including the Halliot Armory license, which is yet another license that we can grab. Thanks, Ledra. Now, coming over, we can find a freighter crane controls. Work must be completed. 
that we can't do anything with. A bunch of colonists standing by and Hannah. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. I am, yes. Are you the captain of this freighter? Not originally. The captain died in one of the Geth raids. I'm the last crew member. We shouldn't even be here. The Salarian merchant promised us a fortune. I wish... <sighs> I suppose it could be worse. Can you fly it? What's wrong with the ship? Isn't she spaceworthy? There's too much damage. Maybe if the Geth stopped attacking, I could fix her. Then again, if there were no Geth, I might just stay on a while. Why? What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship, making sure she doesn't get any worse. <laughs> if nothing else, she's good for hiding in when those Geth come over the walls. What are you doing now? It looks like you're monitoring something. No, well, just ship diagnostics. It's nothing. I, I should get back to it, but if I down, what's the report on... I should go. What? Maybe I can help you. What are you trying to diagnose? No, thanks, really. Now, please, I, I need to get back to work. Completed. Interesting. This place is weird, my friends. Something is happening on the colony of Pharos. And it's not just the Geth attack. Anyways, we've received our assignments. We need to go see if we can help out these people as much as possible. Let's go ahead and talk to our Celia. I'm grateful for what you've done, but your heroics don't impress me, Commander. Okay, Shania. What can you tell me about Exogeny? Very little. I work there as a security officer. I know they were looking for artifacts and anything of value. That's what they do. They fund the colony. In return, we help them uncover buried treasure. It's definitely not as exciting as they make it sound. Why are you so I mad? I feeling you don't like me. How would you feel if you were hung out to dry by every government organization that ever promised to keep you safe? They should have sent a small fleet. Instead, we get one ship. And you're only interested in the Geth. Yeah, but I'm a specter, so... What can you tell me about the Geth? Do you have any idea what they might be after? I can't tell you anything about that. I suggest you go to Exogeny if you want answers to those questions. Hmm. Tell me more about yourself, Arcelia. I'm a rent-a-cop. I was hired to keep kids from writing graffiti on the walls at Exogeny. Then all this happened. I wasn't trained for this. I didn't ask for it. I just wanted to end. Makes sense. Tell me about Zeus Hope. I can't tell you much about it. You should speak to Fi Dan if you want to know more. Why is everyone obsessed with Fi Dan? You're not even that hot, dude. All right, Fi Dan. Commander, what can I do for you? Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones, friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. Okay, I... I'll talk to you when I learn more. Suppose that makes sense. Weird. And of course, we have the mission, the Pharaoh's Geth attack to head to the Exogeny headquarters. But we're going to deal with these assignments first, which is the water restoration power cells, Varen meet, and Geth in the tunnels. So the first place that we want to head to is back where kind of we were, where I accidentally went and we took out those Geth that were... You know, what I, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to skip this little elevator here that takes us to the Skyway. We're not going to worry about that right now. Instead, we're going to head a little bit past that to the second staircase that's down here. Now, if you haven't come over here yet, there is going to be Geth that are going to be waiting for you. But we already took those down. So we kind of can just walk through and go to where we got to go. And when we get down here, we're going to discover that there's a lot more down here than what it would seem. This place is actually fairly large. And immediately, we can see that there are enemies nearby. So, by heading down in here, we're immediately going to want to go into cover because we're going to have to deal with a few troopers. And overload on this. And two warps. See what we can do. One shock trooper down. All we have left is two Geth troopers in this little hallway. Make that one Geth trooper. Down it goes. Nice job. And at the end of this tunnel, oh, I gr grenade. We can actually open this water valve. This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. Exactly. So that's part of the problem done. And then we need to continue on. And we can actually head a little bit more down here. 
and we have another little tunnel that we can head down with even more enemies including a sniper rifle head in see if we can take some down without hitting getting too hit too hard here a get destroyer in the back that's going to charge at us any second now but of course we have two biotics with us that can go ahead and actually just well do a ton of damage here but better than that we're going to ai hack this destroyer perfect nice see if we can destroy this destroyer while attacked down it goes look at this is what i mean this is the power of tally zora naraya boom goodbye sniper now if before heading into this tunnel you may have noticed that there was a bridge that connected to the other side and as soon as you walk in there is that other water valve that you can grab of course it's a little it's a little easy to miss that one because you're going to be dealing with the geth as you approach but it is as soon as you walk in and then over here we have another area that has even more geth and immediately we have two snipers focus us as soon as we walk in there we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to singularity here see if we can grab both of them and finish them off with the power of singular i mean look at how useful that is a shock trooper waiting for us he's going to throw out his kinetic barriers but that don't mean nothing because we're awesome and we're going to go ahead and overload him because he's got his shields coming back and down he goes we have another assault drone here we're going to go ahead and barrier there we go only one enemy remains over here there are three krogan here my friends we're going to go ahead and singularity and see if we can toss this guy away from us get out of here krogan warrior and we're gonna have lift as well and if we stasis one of these we'll actually be able to take it out while it's still in stasis getting liara up so that she can help us we'll go ahead and pop a metagel She's going to go ahead and see if she can also... She's getting attacked, so she's not going to be able to do anything. They're running. They're chasing after Liara. Liara taken down immediately. Nothing we could really do there. Only a few Krogan left to see if we can do anything. One down. The other one's charging into Tally's face. We're going ahead and throw him. Get out of Tally. You do not get to attack her. She is awesome. Two down, one Krogan left. This place can be very challenging if you do not have biotics that can deal with these guys. Krogan Warrior sitting over here. We're actually going to see if we can overload his shields and warp. So he's taking that damage. Shields down. Let's see if we can finish him off. He's charging back in. And he goes down. And this is when we need to dump as much damage as possible. Remember, our weapons are actually set up for synthetics here. So we're doing less damage than you would think to them. But we were able to take them all down. And in the back of the room that they were protecting here, we can actually find, well, an upgrade kit, which is pretty cool. But better than that, we can destroy this transmitter that we were asked to take out. Nice. Easy peasy. Let's go ahead and pop a medi for Liara. And now with that destroyed, all we have to do is tell Fate Anne, hey, we destroyed that transmitter. Future attacks aren't going to be as strong anymore. Of course, we're still going to take out the Geth base, so that's not that big of a deal. But we have more that we can do to help out the colonists by heading back kind of towards where we were with this tunnel. I do highly recommend bringing biotics uh, to that fight with those Krogan, just so that you can kind of keep them away from you as much as possible. We did see that, of course, Liara went down pretty quickly during that, but that is to be expected. So if we come up here, Liara is running all the... Liara? Anyways, uh, <laughs> we have another area. This looks like it's a door. It's not. It's not a door. It's just a wall. So we'll continue down this tunnel, and immediately we see that there's somebody hanging out here Ian Newstead What are you What are you doing? You don't want to go down there. What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be and anything I shouldn't. No! Friend? Ah! That was a good one. Very intense. Are you okay, bud? What's the matter with you? Just invoking the master's whip helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. 
What? Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the... Ah! I'm trying to get to the... Dying! <laughs> this one is no longer fit. We should leave him. <laughs> the option to kill him. Can I is help there you? anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. I'd rather die fighting. What do you mean fighting? Fighting what? <laughs> Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up. Company's coming. Ask my dad. Ask him about the. Ah! What? And immediately we have more Geth that are going to start attacking us. You know, it's like it's like we're just trying to hang out, and then suddenly we're getting attacked by everything. Anyways, we were able to take down the two troopers very quickly. See if we can talk to Ian again. I won't. I won't do it. I won't. I can't. I can't. I won't do it. Wow. That guy is not okay, dude. Go ahead and leave Ian down here, I suppose. So, let's head back the way we came. And if we head in between the two tunnels that you can go into, I recommend saving before entering this room and entering in here. We found the food problem. A bunch of Varen waiting for us. Hopefully we can take these out. These guys can do a ton of damage. So we're gonna go ahead and singularity here to get them all floating in the air. Thank you, Liara, the power of Liara. This is not the last time we're going to see Varen. Keep that in mind. Luckily, three of them down. Just wanna be safe here and let them kind of do what they're doing. See if we can toss this one across the room here. Perfect. And take it out as it's flying. And go ahead and take that one down. Perfect. And we have another red enemy on the map here, which is a the Varen Alpha. We're actually going to go ahead and as it charges in, we're going to warp and lift. Perfect. The Varen falls dead, riddled with slugs. This must be the alpha male, the pack leader of these feral scavengers. And while we're up here, there's something else that we can do, which is open this for some items. You'll, you'll love to see it. We have a sludge canister over here that we can open as well for even more stuff. And on the ship here, we can remove the power cells. This old disabled vehicle was more willing to part with its still functioning power cell than one would expect. And that's all of the side quests that we could do down here in the tunnels. We've fixed the problems that Zeus hopes having, except, of course, the massive amount of Geth troopers that are taking over. But as we try to go back to Zeus Hope, we're going to find that more Geth are now waiting for us. Whoa, that's bad. No, we're fine. Chill boost. Geth destroyer in the back. Go ahead and see if we can hack it real quick, which, of course, we're going to be able to do because Tally, Zora, and Araya is awesome. Papa Medi here so that we don't die. And thank you, Geth Destroyer, which also dies. And only one enemy is left, which is a Geth Sniper. And we know how fragile these guys are. And we meleeed it to death. It's gone. And don't forget to grab the third water valve on your way out, which is the first tunnel that you can even come into. And just like that, now we can head back to Zeus Hope and let them know that we've recovered food, water, power, and destroyed the Geth transmitter. You're welcome. Back at the colony, we can let Faye Dan know, and we can tell him that we stopped I the Geth. I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. They won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. With I actually can you. help you with every problem. We'll get eight Paragon points for doing that. Of course, our Parab Paragon is maxed out at this point, but that's fine. And we can go talk to Davin Reynolds and let him know that we collected some food. Hello again, Commander. The Alpha Male's killed dead. killed the Big Baron. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. 
Yeah, just pay up. Work over the reward so I can get back to more important things. Of course. I don't want to delay you any more than I already have. Great, thanks. We get two Renegade, Paragon points, experience, credits. Your help is appreciated, but we're not out of the woods yet. That's true, you're not. And we can go ahead and let her know that we got some power for her. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. And we leveled up with that massive amount of experience, a ton of Omni Gel credits. You love to see it. And talking to Match Doyle, we can tell her that we did the water. Ago. You're welcome. Thanks to you, I assume. You're damn right. Now we just need to deal with the Geth, and we can get back to growing this colony. Credits for your trouble. Thank you. A Thank thousand you experience, ton of credits, and more Paragon Restoring points. Restoring the water supply was a great help, but it means nothing if the Geth kill us all. And that's exactly why we're heading to the Prothean Skyway. But before we do that, let's check with Fidan. Commander, what can I do for you? There was a man in the tunnels. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Medicaid. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. Interesting. So he doesn't really seem to say too much about Ian, just that Ian's not doing well. Very strange. And we finally can head to the Prothean Skyway. and start heading towards the Geth headquarters. Watch out. And as soon as we come out, unfortunately, there are going to be a bunch of Geth assault drones waiting for us. And hopefully we can save as much of the colonists as possible without these destroying them. Hey, friends, you guys okay? Looks like we were able to save them. They're welcome. You're welcome, friends. Anyways, it's time to head inside. You know what this means. The guest base, not something an intelligent being would typically say. Look at oh no. The Geth are waging war on the planet of Pharos here as two armatures are dropped. The last batch went south. Of course, we can we can drop these the last batch. We are receiving a weak consignment. Taking down some of the enemies. Another armature waiting. It does look like there is another enemy there that we were able to blindly snipe with our cannons. And we can finally just take out this last armature here. Easy peasy. Now, there's actually stuff that we can get on the Prothean Skyway here. It handles so much better than it did in the past. The Prothean Skyway was a very scary area uh, back then because you could just end up <laughs> kind of falling off at any time. And it was terrifying. So you could have, back in the day, get out and use these broken down ships to take them out on foot, which is the way that you would want to because you'd get more experience. Still can't get a fix on the location. Any sign of movement? Lisbeth could still be in there. It's only been a few days. Looks like they're looking for somebody named Lisbeth, whoever, whoever this is. And as we come up here, we'll find more daughter. enemies. I'll wait as long as I have. Another armature defeated. And it looks like there's more enemies, but we're not seeing any, which means only one thing. Watch out for the rocket troopers. There we go. It means that they're down in this tunnel here, which means we need to get on foot and beat them up. One more remaining in these tunnels. We're going to go ahead and throw this one. Is that... Is it dead? That was weird. Anyways, we can find some more items back here. 
And that's all that we can get in these tunnels here. So we're going to head back to the Mako. We handled that. No problemo. Now, I do recommend heading back to if you wanted to change your squad. I recommend doing that before proceeding forward. And when you're ready, proceed through the next door. This looks like a handy spot for an ambush. We've got movement. Some kind of vehicle. Not one of the Geth. The Interesting. We must be close. Somebody. The is more important. So Tally says that we need to go deal with the Geth, but my heart's telling me that we need to head down here. Where it looks like there are Exogeny. Hello? That's close enough. Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? I'm here to help, buddy. Commander Shepard, I'm here to remove your Geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Uh, no, there's the colonies fine. Bye, Dan, and some of the members of Zeus Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're surviving despite everything the Geth have done to them. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. Yeah, I, I'll do whatever I hear you I can there. to keep them away from you. But I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. You're annoying. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We can do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Hmm. Tell me a little bit more about what's about going on here. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. And what about Zeus Hope? How did you get split up from the Zeus Hope colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zeus Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. You still could, you know. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. They'll come eventually. All right, and what? Do you guys know why? Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. It's nothing personal. You guys, such a bootlicker. And what about the facility? What was the building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly offices with a number of uh, light duty R&D labs. Exogeny is a master at repurposing anything and everything. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Ferros is a long way from self-sufficient. And what about Lisbeth? Where's your daughter, Juliana? Yep. She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. I'll find she's her. She's in there. I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... <laughs> Save. Remember, if you see my daughter... Uh, please, keep your fire to a minimum when you go to the Exogeny building. We want to minimize damage. Dude, now, you are... And I must inform you that the company will not be responsible for any injuries you sustain while in our facility. You're... Tell me about Exogeny. Ugh. Please. Exogeny Corp is the premier engine of colonization in the new multi-system economy. And in conjunction with our core interests, exploration provides a broad investment base for shareholders. Core interests? What are the company's core interests? Exogeny has a number of subsidiary companies in many different fields. The most profitable adapt alien technologies. There are many other industrial branches, but they aren't really relevant to Pharos. Okay. 
Do you have any idea why the Geth attacked you? None. We're scrambling to find anything of value. There's nothing here to warrant an invasion. There's barely enough here to warrant a colony. But yet they are. Tell me about yourself, John. <laughs> me? Yeah, I was sent here to do some routine estimations of the potential return on investment. The attack was certainly a surprise to me. I've been trapped here ever since. <sighs> Can't wait for the home office to get me off this rock. Yeah, and what's your problem? You're not much of a people person, are you? I like people. I just like them more when they're helping Exogeny profit. Someone needs to worry about the bottom line. I'm the only one left. You're such a I'm fart, gone. dude. B please be careful if you go to headquarters. What a fart. He We're wants us to be time. careful even though Geth are invading. And it's like, you know what? You're such a poop. Look at all these people that are like almost dead. And they're laying around. And this guy's like, I just uh, I'm worried about my bottom line. I want my bottom line. My bottom, bottom, bottom line. The frontier is a it's like, shut up, dude. Anyways, we can talk to Gavin here. I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. What's up, dude? What do dude? you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. I can do that. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? No catch, really. It's dangerous work, but not for someone like you. What is it about you that makes people assume we enjoy being in harm's way? It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. Yeah, I can do that. I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. I'm guessing you don't want that data Tell to go to Shang over there. You. Plans for a few prototype mods? I'm a freelancer. Some of my mods are highly sought after. Why are you here? Why work in the middle of nowhere if your skills are so useful? Maybe I've got a bit of the frontier spirit in me. That and the alternative is a bit too secure for my liking. Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we keep a low profile. Okay, what about the attack? Do you have any idea what the Geth were looking for? Uh, that's for smarter men than me to figure out. I have no idea what anyone would want with this ruin. All right, we're gonna head Time out. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I said. Got it. So he gave us another mission, and that means that we are going to head to the Exo Exogeny headquarters in the next episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I may hit the wrong button. I meant to hit squad so you can see what we're at. We're at level 21. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode uh, on Insanity Difficulty. I really sincerely appreciate you guys. And a huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres almost every single day around 2 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you know when new videos are premiering uh, or being uploaded or anything like that. Thank you guys. Uh, we will be checking in on Renegade Shepherd soon, but in the next episode, we are going to head to the Exogeny headquarters and finish off Pharos in the next thing. So two Pharos is going to be two episodes. And then we're done. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, never give up, never surrender to the Geth. Bye, everybody.